Here's hoping you'll never have to. But just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. If you get a flat, first, make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Turn off the ignition, turn the hazard lights on, and make sure the parking brake is fully set. You'll find the jack, jack tools, wheel chocks, and spare tire stowed in the rear cargo area under the load floor. Lift the load floor and use the hook to keep it out of the way. Go ahead and remove the wing nut. Then lift out the wheel chocks, the jack, and spare tire. Now loosen, but do not remove the wheel bolts one turn counterclockwise with the wheel still on the ground. Next, chock the front and rear of the tire diagonally opposite of the jacking position. For example, if the left rear tire is damaged, lock the right front tire. You'll want to place the jack under the lift area closest to the flat tire. Raise the jack until it properly engages the jacking location. Do not raise the vehicle until you're sure the jack is fully engaged. Now, you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw clockwise. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Now go ahead and remove the wheel bolts and wheel. Remove the alignment pin from the jack assembly and thread the pin into the wheel hub to assist in mounting the spare tire. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the wheel bolts and lightly tighten them clockwise. Now, it's safe to remove the alignment pin. Then, you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw counterclockwise and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the wheel bolts. Alternate wheel bolts until each one has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the wheel bolts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, pull the wheel chocks, stow the bad tire, and return all the jacking tools to their proper locations. You're good to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, Please see your owner's information.